uh, I rushed here. But uh, I have to apologize that there was delay in our fire because we, I think the magnitude of the fire was so huge and the water went down so they had rushed back to the hydrant. But the Kenya Airport Authority fire is coming handy after uh, the DCC yourself called them and the mango and the, and the kibos. So the fire was huge and it needed a combined effort. So, so far we have contained it. Yeah, we are only remaining with a small fire debris and we are finishing. So, for us, we have learned a lot. We have some experience. We have to go to the drawing board, see how quickly can respond to the fire, the fire be enhanced and how quickly we need the enhancement. We have realized that you need, that's why we all try to open pathways and try to give openings. So that the, the fire engine can access the place for the fire very quickly. Because we had found that this place was fenced with combatis and all the rest. We had to meander around with the pipes, uh, which, which, which was disastrous. So uh, the Kisumu County will ensure that any place where there are residential areas or any place of entertainment, accessibility is very important. And availability of water hydrants all over. So for us, I thank the fire, uh, the, the, the three fire stations. Thank you very much. Response of the public people and the Kisimo County government, the security team led by Wanamango and the uh, And the MP elect has responded in hand. And uh, I think the, the team has responded well. So, so far, we have done the match with you. I want to report that the unfortunate is done that has happened to our school. This happened at around 8.30. When all the boys had gone to class, the boys had taken breakfast and the, the teachers were in the, in the compound. I happened to be around and I was caught around the third by all the teachers in the compound who told me the fire is in the dome section. Uh, when I moved the dome section, I discovered one of our dormitories was affected uh, by the fire. So we called the fire brigade. By the time I was coming in, the fire brigade had been called and I thanked them. They came in speedy uh, to rescue the situation. The unfortunate thing that uh, our dormitory was in time with one of the classes, so that also got affected one of the classes that are there. I also want to report clearly, we had 1,500 boys in the compound, and none has been affected by this fire stand. There's no casualty about this fire stand. And I also want to report, the fire has been contained, but now we are working on the program to make the school restore its, uh, its status. Uh, about whether we can uh, close or not, uh, that one um, we are deciding a moment by the executive board and communicated in due course by bulk SMS to our parents uh, where we normally communicate to them. Just like time, we closed abruptly, we will always ensure that that is done in a more way that our stand safety comes first. We have an executive board in a moment and we will make a decision on that. Uh, this is the only agenda we are tackling and be assured in the next 30 minutes or so we will have made a decision on the safety. We are taking statistics of the affected area, the number of stands, and then we make addition the same. Uh, the capacity of the dome is about 100 of that dome that has been affected. Uh, the cause of the fire for now, we cannot clearly say what the cause of fire is, but I can say this started from the rooftop because the first people we saw these are the people who saw the smoke billowing out. And when we went the place, the smoke had gathered so much, we didn't want to risk anybody into getting the dome section. But I don't say that is. <laughs>